Hi students, the next type of circuit that we're going to look at is the parallel electrical circuit. When you look at the parallel electrical circuit, it should look like this, parallel. So if you look at it here, there will be the power source, the first branch of the parallel circuit, second branch and the third branch here. I'm giving, I'm giving three branches example here. If you look at it here clearly, what will happen here is that the main source voltage called effective voltage will have the same value at each of the branch. This is one of the benefits of using parallel and all of our electrical circuits at home, in school, all are parallel. If you see here, if let's say this is 9 volt, this is also be 9 volt, 9 volt and 9 volt. So each branch will have or receive the same amount of voltage. So in parallel, if you see the voltage is equivalent at every point equal then when you look at the electric current the main current is divided divided to each branch according to the need of the branch if let's say this is 6 ampere and all this resistance are equal if all this resistance are equal and this is 6 ampere Therefore, here will be 2 ampere, 2 ampere and 2 ampere. So, 6 ampere will be divided 2 here, 4 here, 2 here and another 2 will flow here. So, if you look at it here, the 2 will come and combine with another 2 again form 4 and the 4 will combine with the 2 come back as 6. So this is the part where we call as the effective resistance part. If here 6 ampere, here also 6 ampere. And the last part of the parallel circuit idea is the resistance here will be calculated in a equation as given 1 over R. R is the effective resistance, the main resistance will be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. If you look at it here, the main effective resistance here is that 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. For example, I can show you. Okay, I have one circuit here with a source of voltage of 6 volt, 3 ohm, 3 ohm and 3 ohm. I want to find what is the main effective current value. So as I solve it, I realize that the total resistance in diagram the first diagram here will be 1 over R equals to 1 over 3 ohm plus 1 over 3 ohm plus 1 over 3 ohm. So 1 over R is equal to 3 over 3 ohm. So the R is actually 1 ohm. So this circuit which is a parallel circuit now having a total effective resistance of only 1 ohm. 1 ohm. So if I like to calculate the effective current, this is the effective current. If I want to calculate the effective current. The effective current value is 6 ampere. V equals to IR, it's 6 ampere. We can continue with another example if you look at it here. The circuit is now becomes longer. Earlier I attached 3 resistors in parallel. Now we have 4 resistors in parallel. The method is still the same. If you look at it here, it's 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and plus 1 over R4. So earlier there was there were 3 resistors, now 4. As you solve 1 over R equals to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 and plus 1 over 3, you realize 1 over R is 4 over 3 and the total resistance is now is only 0 0.5 ohms. So if you notice when the number of branches were 3 and now 4, as the number of branches increases, the total resistance is decreasing. What happened to the effective current? Earlier, here the effective current was 6 ampere. What happened here now? What is the effective current value here? Since the number of parallel circuit branches increases, we realize it is 8 ampere it shows that as the current as sorry as the number of resistors increases in parallel 
the current value increasing. This is called an overloading effect. So the more the number of parallel branches of electrical appliances, the higher the current that can flow. This can be called as overloading effect. And final part, let's look at the disadvantages and advantages of parallel circuit. Disadvantages can produce overloading of electric current as I showed just now. The electric current value gets divided. What are the advantages? Each appliance gets the full voltage, the equal voltage as the source. For example, if you see here, again, if this is 6 volt, each of these electrical appliances will get 6 volt, 6 volt and 6 volt. And finally, advantages here, effective resistance is reduced, all the electrical appliances can be turned on and off separately. Thank you.